coalition of eight pro-immigrant groups in Colorado is launching an emergency hotline in response to recent aids by ICE. Rain, excuse me, by ICE. The Colorado Response Network, as it's being called, will operate 24 hours a day. Anytime a person believes they see an ongoing immigration raid, they can call the hotline, which will then confirm the raid and dispatch a legal observer to monitor ICE. So is this all a big effort to sabotage the enforcement of American laws? Elvira Salazar is an anchor for Mega TV. Francisco Hernandez is a Texas immigration attorney. They both join us. Elvira, you, you think this is a good idea. Why? No, I think this is a very bad idea. I'm sorry. You, yeah, that's, <laughs> you, I'm sorry. Yes, of course. I read your, your points, and you think that it's a bad idea because it will actually put more people in danger? Well, I think it's a very bad idea because it's sending the a message to the American people that Hispanics were a bunch of lunatics, that we want to protect uh, the bad hombres, that we want to, because this um, hotline, what it's going to do is going to um, uh, send the message to the bad hombres where, when uh, ICE is coming. So the bad hombres are going to be having a field day, and the, the good hombres are going to be a very bad day because we've got to understand that our... Um, our community is terrorized. Is is right. So under your point was that this will actually protect the bad guys and make it more dangerous for actually law-abiding people no. who should not actually have to deal with a raid like this. Francisco, you you actually think that this is a good idea? Tell me why. You know what? You know what? Let's lay it out. It's in the uh, open government chapter. Listen, I spoke to two ICE agents, and they not only think it's a good idea, the ICE agents actually say, you know what? Let's stream it live. Let's put body cams. Let's lay it out. If we, if we think it's okay, it's okay. If we think it's not, it's not. But you know what? This is just a pretext to put it on ICE and ICE agents. They're police officers, they're law enforcement. We are diverting from what really is the issue here. Where's Congress? I mean, President Trump, whether you like him or not, right. I'm not a trumpet, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Let's get to Congress. They're chicken. They're chicken. Democrats and Republicans are chicken. What do you want the Congress to do? And they're not going to act because they're scared. Let's well. get on to immigration reform. Let's live stream these raids. If they're there, what's wrong with it? If they're bad, they're bad. We will change the culture of this country. If they're humanitarian, as most of ICE agents I know, let's go with it. But, but we're diverting from what yeah. we need to uh, do. But Elvira, I would agree you not agree that, that ICE is actually trying to enforce the laws, that they're trying to actually find the bad hombres, as you call them, get yeah. them out of the country yeah. so that people who are here legally can be uh, uh, and, and, more fulfilled and that is in their lives? Yes. And I think that is exactly what we need to do, and we need to follow what President Trump has said. We need to find two to three million people that are the bad hombres, the illegals that should not be here. We well, should kick them out. How do you do that without the ICE rage? How do you do that if you oh, don't well. have the federal government actually doing this type of work? Because well, we, can, we those rates, being... because what I think we need to have, we need to have clear rules that we don't have. The feds need to sit with the cities and with the states and say, okay, these are the people that we want. We want people that are uh, g d drug dealers, that are gang members. We don't want everybody because it's true that they are illegals and they have broken the law. We get that, but not everybody is deportable. Right now, we need to have clear rules. The feds need to sit with the cities and say, bring me or give me the ones that I have on this list. Well, Francisco, that is what you're, we're having you're an immigration control. lawyer. And is, that, what is, she, is what she describing actually possible? You know, ICE doesn't need help. ICE is very good at what they do. They don't need the cities. There's no such thing as a sanctuary city. It's a political phantom. Everybody's afraid of it. Nobody can touch it. But it doesn't exist. A city cannot oppose the federal government. We don't need the state's help. But the we message that is officers. sending <laughs> is that we Hispanics, the message that is sending is that we Hispanics, we want to protect criminals when we want to support the sanctuary city. So it's true what you're saying. There is not a legal definition as to what a sanctuary city is. But yeah. nonetheless, it's making us look really bad. Well, do, would you support the then, Francisco, would you support the Supreme Court actually then finally ruling on this issue of sanctuary cities because it's almost as if you could agree no. that you both agree you don't think that they need to do that it has nothing it is a waste of time the Supreme is going to say a city or a state cannot oppose the federal government but you don't the think the cities and states need to hear that from the federal government so that we could actually oh, get about the have, business of allowing ICE have. doing what they are uh, but uh, they have. asked to do by Congress but they have heard it ever since Arizona Alabama Georgia uh, Farmers Branch, that we've been trying to put band-aids on this issue for 17 years. 
I mean, well, that is correct, and that's why Congress. we need an immigration reform law, and you said yes, it right. And I'm then with here, here you we are, we agree on that. We okay, need so an immigration you, reform law. Okay, where, this is your chance amen. then. Here on a Friday night, I'm going to give you a chance, both of you. Elvira, what, would you, what are the top three things you want to see in an immigration reform bill then? What do you think would actually help solve the problem, protect legal people who are here, mm -hmm. and keep them safe? Please, first. The people that do not have a serious criminal record should be given some type of legality. Maybe not citizenship, but legality. And they will be very happy. 50% of the illegals in this country have been here for more than 15 years. Those people have homes, cars, kids, churches, right. friends, right? So those people right. may deserve, maybe, to get some type of legality. Because those people are helping the economy and doing jobs that other people do not want to do. People okay. that have benefits. But Francisco, right. you're an immigration one. attorney. Number, let me add to it. Can that actually and work? And let me add to it. Okay. Nobody deserves anything in immigration. There are no rights. There are no rewards for immigration. There's opportunity. There are people that dying to get to this country, dying, hanging under trains, trying to get to the promised land. Let's just give them a chance to earn it. Earn it. But, Temporary worker visas is the lowest common denominator, but okay. Democrats and Republicans That's both right. oppose it. Well, it, well That's I guess we'll have to see if the, if the Congress decides to work with President Trump on yes. that, maybe they can get something done. All right, Elvira That's right. Trump can be for immigration, when Nixon was for China. That he is. All right, thank you so much.